Fresh Vines. Ready to move! Nice, my software works. I think. Refresh! Yes! Alright, that's a magical moment when you're in front of 700 people. Um, I am uh, presenting Fresh Vine tonight. We do uh, what a lot of you in the business world might seem a little familiar, but in the nonprofit and ministry world, having software that helps you understand what's going on in your communities is paramount. And so this is what we've done. We've created this software to help these nonprofits better understand what's going on in their communities. Uh, I'm Paul Prince. Uh, I'm the guy who uh, built a lot of this and founded the company. Uh, over here running the the thing tonight, we've got Jordan, she's our client liaison, uh, she, customer liaison, she makes sure our customers are happy uh, the whole way through the process. And we also have Paul Backus over there, he does a lot of our marketing and partnership development, all of that good stuff. So a lot of you may not be familiar with what happens behind the scenes with nonprofits, uh, and especially with community-based organizations, but one of the biggest challenges they have is understanding who's involved, how are they involved, and how can we better uh, bring people into what we're doing. Uh, right now, what Jordan's showing off is, is our, our brand new design, our brand new interface. It actually is this right here, what you see is actually coming out uh, sometime next month, so we're looking at the sandbox. Uh, it's really cool, the whole interface is actually CSS3 transitions, and it's built on a LAMP stack, uh, and it's really, really fun and pretty, uh, which I love. And so, um, what we're gonna do is, I, I kinda wanna take you through some behind the scenes of what it looks like for an organization to use uh, something like this. A lot of you attend events like this, 700 of you attend events like this, but what does it mean to actually be a leader in an organization or in a, or in a church, for example? Um, so we're gonna start off here. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of times, uh, a pastor or an individual will get pulled into a situation where they're, they're doing a home call. So let's say somebody just had a kid, somebody who's in the hospital in their home, uh, and you're gonna go check on them to see how they're doing. It's kind of one of those things we just expect uh, those folks to do. And so by having a tool like FreshFind, uh, you're able to pull up on your phone, uh, wherever you are, uh, a profile on, on any member in your community. And so really quickly, I can, I can refresh my memory of, of who Mitch is, uh, so I know when I walk in his door, his wife Jordan may be there, uh, their three kids could be there, Matt, Alexander or Faith, and his mom Paula could be there. Uh, it helps when you walk in to have an idea of who these people are. Uh, I've got maps, all that stuff on my phone. You just hit the button, it pulls up Google Maps. You can, you can get there really slick. Uh, you can kind of click through here and see different levels of information depending on what access and stuff you have. Uh, but one of the great things about this is I may find that you're really involved in a different meetup group or a different, uh, a smaller group within our organization. And so that I know, hey, Maybe Joan would also like to know that you're here, and maybe they could stop by and check on you. So when I, when I come in and talk to you, I can ask, like, hey, would it be okay if I tell Joan that you're here? Uh, I think she may want to stop by and uh, to see how you're doing, which is really great. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do, a big thing, and, and uh, they talked about this earlier, is volunteers and having volunteers for things. So in our fictitious organization here, we got Dorothy McBeats. Uh, she spins for us on Sunday mornings. Because uh, what's church without a DJ, right? Uh, and you may not know it, she's actually mentored some pretty famous DJs. Uh, and so what we're going to do is, she has like her son, grandson's baptism or something, so she can't be here. So we need another DJ. So we've actually got custom fields here for different musical instruments that people play. Um, and we got the Daft Punk boys. Um, you may not know it, but they're pretty excited about Dorothy McBeats. Um, and so Thomas here is... Uh, it's really easy now. You can see that I can go through and quickly I've got a filtered list of who uh, is a part of our organization who has a certain skill, talent, ability. So for some of those more niche uh, roles, you can find individuals to call uh, and follow up with. Invite them to be a part of what's going on uh, coming up. The next thing we'll do is look at what does this mean to be a volunteer. Uh, Nonprofits and ministries run on the backs of volunteers. They really need these people. And so what we can do uh, is show you what it looks like to actually track event attendance or meetup attendance or whatever that would look like. Uh, within your organization, you're constantly having events. So we got our mini demo event tonight uh, for our group. So as a group leader, I would actually get an email right when the event starts. I get notifications in the, in the app itself. And all I do is I just hit the faces of the people who are here. And so if I'm at a coffee shop in the living room, I just pull this out, hit the faces, and now 
we have records of the individuals that are present, which gives us really good stats on who's involved, how often are people involved, and then one of the really cool things we can do is we can actually then follow up with people who, who start missing events. So, and this is one of those things that seems kind of common sense, like, hey, I totally noticed that, that Joe hasn't been here in the last month. But there's a difference between noticing it during the event and remembering when it's not like 10 or 11 at night to make a phone call and find out how Joe's doing. Uh, and so if we go here, you can see that Michael, not Bolton, um, uh, hasn't been to our, our, our group in a while. And so we can actually, I've got his phone number right here, his email address. Uh, if you hit that contact card button, it'll actually download a B card right into your address book. And we all sync with our, our, our phones with our address book now. Uh, so it's slick, you can hit this button, it goes in your address book, by the time you do your car uh, or walking out the door, you've got all his contact information or all her contact information in your phone. And so here I can be, oh, I called Michael Bolton, he's been sick, uh, his favorite saxophone, it's got bad pads or something, I don't know a lot about saxophones. Um, and so he, he needs a tune-up uh, and some soup, and so we're going we're gonna to bring him some soup. And then what you can do is once you've, you've entered notes that, hey, yeah, I followed up with, with Mr. Bolton, uh, you can hit save and it'll actually take them out of that queue and so that you can know uh, right away uh, if somebody, if there's the activity for you to do as a leader. Uh, and so as an overarching individual in the organization, it's really easy for me to know how, how active are we in, in connecting with the people in our community. Uh, at the end of the day, these organizations only exist to care about the people that choose to come. Uh, and so any tools that they can have uh, to help them better do that, uh, I believe, uh, has a transformative impact on the community across religious barriers, across nonprofit barriers. Uh, I believe the more uh, information and power we can give to these nonprofit groups, the better. And so that's what we're doing as Fresh Find. Um, you can see we've got some cool mapping stuff in here too. But we just want to say thanks for, for checking us out, this opportunity. Uh, thanks to Minibar, uh, Mini Demo, and uh, if you want, chat with us afterwards.